Hello everybody, my name is Magnus Holberg and uh, I read a very interesting article in The Guardian about uh, plastic fibers that had been found in tap water all around the world. Reading the article about plastic fibers that was found in tap water, I came up with some questions. First, what is microplasts? Also, how can it be removed? Now, having the questions, I went online and made some searches, but then I came up with a very, very interesting article in Water Research. The article title assigned was Solution to Microplastic Pollution, Removal of Microplastics from Wastewater Effluent with Advanced Wastewater Treatment Technologies. Actually, having found this article, I've got my questions answered. Now, first of all, we need to define what is a microplastic particle. Well, we will use this graph where on the x-axis, have the particle size in micrometers and from the research article you find that the microplastic particle the definition of that is a particle with a diameter of less than five millimeters or five thousand micrometers in the research article they looked at very very small particles between 20 to 300 micrometers and you can see the span here in the graph and you can also see the wording conventional depth filtration. So that suggests that the particle sizes found in the research could be taken away by normal filtration. Is this true? Well, let's have a check. So how did they go about the research in the article? Well, what they did was to go to wastewater treatment plants that was so-called conventional activated sludge plant. And that type of plant consists of a primary treatment and a secondary treatment, which include the biological treatment in the secondary treatment. Now, what they did was they took the water after the secondary treatment. And also we know from other studies that the conventional activated sludge system, as you see here in front of you, already removes 99% of the microplastics in the water. So now this research, which is, makes it very interesting, are looking at the, maybe the finest particles you can find in sewage water that has been treated uh, quite some way. So how did they do this? Well, after the secondary treatment, they took the water to, in one case, a disc filter, which is a filter with a pore diameter of about 10 to 20 micrometers. They also took water to a rapid sand filtration, which has a sand particle size distribution between 0.1 to 0.5 millimeters. Also, they tested the water going through a membrane bioreactor which has a pore size of 0.4 micrometers and finally they also took the water from the secondary treatment unit and added flocculants and had a diffused air flotation remove the sludge that was created by the flocculants as you can see from the picture here the size of the disc filter, rapid sand filtration, membrane bioreactor are quite narrow, especially disc filter and membrane bioreactor. These are even smaller than the smallest particles found in the water after the secondary treatment. Now, what was the result from this research? Well, for the disc filter, they had a removal between 40 to 98.5%. Diffused air flotation, 95%. Rapid sand filtration, 97%. And finally, membrane bioreactor, 99.9% .9 removal of the microplastic. Now, keep in mind that the water they sent through the disc filter, membrane reactor, rapid sand filtration, and the DAF unit was <coughs> water that already been treated in a conventional activated sludge. So you can see here that even the finest particle we can handle in the wastewater treatment plant. 
So with this, I just say what goes around comes around and I'll end up with a picture from that water research article showing different types of plastic beads or seeds that they found in the research work they did. So with this, thank you very much and with the hope that you learned a little bit more about maybe treated methods but also about microplastics. Take good care and read the articles I refer to also. Very interesting. Take care. Goodbye. Bye-bye.